Good morning. Come on in. Are we, are we here? Are we live yet? Are we there? Have we got a pulse? Bonjour. Come on in. It's Wednesday morning. Middle of the week. Beautiful sunny day. Come on, we can do this thing. Have we got any choice? Come on in. Good morning. Hello there. Nice to see you, Jilly, too. Everybody's in. All good. And Steve is in the, in the building with you, helping you this morning. So that's great. If you've got any questions or you're looking for anything or you need some direction, I can't help you from here because I'm juggling too many plates and I can't see the screen. But if you ask the question, Steve, Steve will know the answer. Um, yeah, everything's good. All great. Come on in, grab a seat. We're in colouring week, aren't we, this week? We're colouring cockerels and hens. Today we're having a hen party. Boom. It's a hen party. I've been up for hours doing this hen for you. I've really enjoyed it, actually. It's all right. It does me the power of good. Come on in. Early to the party. It's only four minutes to ten. We don't start officially till ten o'clock, do we? Right, you got your drinks, you got your cup of tea, you got your water. I'm I'm on water at the moment. I'm on water. I've got my posh still and Dave, bless him, he gave me a bottle of sparkling because he knows I like sparkling. I do like sparkling water. It's my champagne. It's a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. A lot less fattening than champagne. Makes you burp the same though. <laughs> and you could put it in a flute, couldn't you? you could pretend. Come on in. Good morning. That's it. All good. Yes. I've really been enjoying out. Do you know that this is week eight? That doesn't seem possible, does it? This is week eight of our shack shack, our daily doodle. And today we're doing a cock-a-doodle-doodle. -doodle. Yeah, eight weeks, every day, Monday to Friday. This is becoming a full-time job. This may become a full-time job. <laughs> but it's all right. It is what it is, isn't it? How are you coping with all this? Do you know what? I don't know what's going on anymore. I've kind of, I've lost it. I've lost the, the plot. <laughs> I have. I don't know what's going on. I feel like half the country, the government says something, and half the country plays yeah, but, and the other half of the country plays no, but. So all you've got is yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but, no, but. And I'm in the middle going with the rest of us. What? What's going on? What WTF? None the wiser. NTW. So you've got yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but, no, but. NTW. Keep calm, keep calm and craft. That's what I say. Because I don't know. Do you? Just got to stay with it, I guess, hey? Stay with it. 9.59. And do you know what? I woke up this morning. I'm not sleeping well at the moment. Uh, so I was awake at about four or some stupid hour. And, um, and then I waited until a respectable time to get up. And then I thought, yeah, I've got a safe place. And it's like, this isn't just a safe place, but it's a happy place, you know? Coming up here on my own with all you guys, it's a safe place, and it's, but it's also my happy place. Because regardless of what's going on out there, yeah, but, no, but, none the wiser. <laughs> in here, we know exactly what we're doing. Today, we're colouring in a hen. And I've got some... I've, I've got a really good technique that I want to show you. See if you can do it as well. Of course you can do it. Seriously. <laughs> this, is, this is better than simple. But the effect is great. It's 10 o'clock. Here we are in the Shack Shack. Welcome. Come on in. Grab a seat. Bring your drinks. Bring your tea. Bring your coffee. Bring your water. H2O. The Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. 
And we're not going to play Yeah But No But because there's plenty of that going on out there. We'll just get on with it. Shan't we? Yes, we shall. <laughs> right, you ready? Because this takes time. And I have to say, right, this one, <laughs> at one point, I went to do some shading and I've been doing so much of the other, so to speak, that my hand just went completely limp. So I thought, oh good, that means I must tell you we're gonna do this in stages. So we'll do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and then we'll go back to a little bit of this and then we'll go back to a little bit of that. Because I made the mistake of doing all of this and then when I went to do that, I couldn't feel my fingers. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, you ready? So let's have a look at what we're doing. Come on, hurry up. We've got a, a hen to catch. Right, so. This is where we were, this is what we did, didn't we? And then, and this is where we're going. So we've done the, we've done the tail feathers. Yeah, really nice, huh? So we did the tail feathers. I'm still working on this. The body's not done yet, although I'm, I'm liking it a little bit lighter, but I think it needs a little bit more depth around there. Well, I thought I'd leave it half done, just in case somebody's catching up. Because it, you see on this one, for example, it's all those white, it's the whiteness from the white pencil that gives you all that. Uh, let's have a look at this camera. It's the one that gives you, let, me, let it just, right. Now let me come in closer and see if you can see it. You see all that white texture, the feathering, that's done with a white pencil before you go over with the color. And it's called what we call a resist technique. And if you look down the bottom in the chest feathers, you can see it really clearly. And the darker you go over the top, the more the whiteness will come through. So while we're holding this in place, let's check out Her Majesty. There she is. And if I come in really close, don't worry, it's going to get a little bit faded now, a little bit fuzzy till it focuses. See the dots? Dot, 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 dot. It's all done with dotting. Got it? Keep looking, do a screenshot if you're on the computer. Yeah. Okie dokie. Right, so, so that's what we're going to do, this one here. Isn't she lovely though? I mean, she's never going to be as colourful as him because she's not as big a show off as him, is she? Yeah. But I thought we'd do a, a speckled hen. Yeah. A, a wyan dot or a dotty hen, or a, there are so many different names for these, and I'm sure we've got experts. I'm no experts, but I am married to a farmer, and he called it, he said, this is a, it's a, it's a wyan dot hen. So I thought, oh, well, that makes sense. We'll dot her then. But what I want to do, I'm standing up, I'm just going to go and come in a bit high, a bit closer, I think, on this one, don't you? Let's see, let's have a look. Bring her in a bit more. I reckon that'll probably be about right, otherwise I'll, yeah? That's cool, isn't it? Can you see her all right now? Wee! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. So you can see what we're doing, you see. So it's got to be big enough so that you can... Yeah, like that, you see, because you want to see where you're going as well. Right, cool. Pencils at the ready. Everybody happy? You all right? Happy place. Um... Get rid of all that negativity. There's no room for negativity in our happy place. This is a safe, happy environment. We're hanging out together, great bunch of mates, all doing the same thing. We all have uh, a light, we're like-minded, aren't we? We all have that ability to get out of our heads and get with our hands. And then out of nowhere, the hour's gone. And what was so lovely was yesterday, I watched on Clarity um, and I thought, well, I wonder if they're going to um, post their cockerels, so to speak. And it was hilarious. Oh, I love your cockerel. Oh, that cockerel's amazing. I wish my cockerel looked like your cockerel. Your cockerel's a lot brighter than my cockerel. And it was like, I had one of those moments where you step back and you think, this is hilarious, actually. <laughs> Hundreds of women all comparing each other's cockerels. <laughs> it was funny. And it's also hard. It's all so harmless, you know, that it, it did, it made me crack up. At one point yesterday, I thought, are we losing, the, are we going, daddy? <laughs>
<laughs> right, back to the happy place. We're going to start colouring in. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> so I think we'll stick with her and rather than get caught with our pants down like we did yesterday and get none of the tail feathers done because I waffled so much, we're going straight for the hen. All right, hen? Cool. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, I may be teaching you to suck eggs here, to coin an expression, but we're doing it anyway, right? Dotty. And the pencils I'm going to use, I'm going for the, um, the polychromos. But even if you're, if you've got, say you've got the, well, actually, if you've got the pergoliners, you've got some beautiful, the pergoliners have got fantastic browns and russets, like really nice. So pick your, pick your weapons of choice. You want browns, russets, this kind of, this kind of palette. But I mean, it's entirely up to you. Go with the B pencils because they're great for blending. I need a white one. There's a white one in the purple liners as well. You're going to use your HB pencil. And if you've got a blending pen, we're going to blend with a dry pen. But do you know what? And I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you haven't got anything, if you've just got a pencil, seriously, you can use just an HB pencil because mm -hmm. we're shading. We're shading and the pencil can do the job too. So let's not lose any sleep over, oh, I haven't got this and I haven't got that. Yeah, but no, but, yeah, but, no, but, no, but, no, but. Okay, we're going for it. And the first thing we want to do is put down um, a light colour, like a, an undercoat. So it could be yellow if you've got a yellow. Yeah, I'm going to use, look at me, my favourite one from my polychromos, my warm grey. And I'll tell you the colours as I go along. Steve Ellen's in the building with us. So he'll be able to tell you. Steve, if you make a note of the pencils as I call them out, then when people come later to the party, you'll be able to tell them, won't you? Right. So what we're going to do first of all, just make a mental note. We're not colouring in the white specks. This is a speckled hen and we're not colouring in the white specks. So when Melanie drew this for us, she, she gave us an option. We can either colour them in black, can't we? Which, you know, would be probably the way a lot of people would go. And I thought, no, 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 no. We'll go, we'll avoid the, the dots, these bits, and we'll go to the background. So when you're putting the base colour in, let me get my, spec let me get my speckled hen on. Let me get my Dame Edna's on. Good pair of glasses is always best. Right, and then what we're going to do, really, really lightly, really, really lightly, right, just avoid the, the speckles. You're, you're gliding, you're gliding over the, over the background. You're literally just gliding over the top. You're just not pressing hard at all. We just want to get a little bit of shade in the, in the background, right? So you're going to do that all over our lovely speckled hen. Speckled hen. Do you remember those real ales? Speckled hen. I thought they always had brilliant names. Um, speckled hen was good. Uh, Figston's Old Peculiar. Do you remember that one? These sort of real ales, weren't they? But we're going to go for the speckled hen. I wonder what she looks like on the bottle. I don't know. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I did do, but I don't anymore. I certainly haven't got a bottle of speckled hen in the fridge. That's for sure. Right. So, have we got an undercoat down now? That'll do. See, just a lot white. It's just taking the whiteness out of it. Not even a lot, but a little bit. Here's the thing, I learnt this the hard way. If you press too hard with this and you make it too dark, then the next job is going to be really, really difficult because you've got to kind of break through that layer because now we start with the dots, okay? So with the dots, you need three colours and we're going to go light at the top, medium in the middle and then darkest to the bottom. So you need three colours, whatever three colours you pick. Your speckled hen could be as sexy and vibrant as her fella. It's entirely up to you. 
I'm going with a sort of muted colours. You could go with, with yellows, with oranges, you could go with greens, light green, medium green and brown, that'd be lovely. I bet there's a hen that is light green, medium green and brown. You just need three colours, light, medium and dark. So I'm going with this one, which is raw umber. That's my light brown. Probably, yeah, that's my, then the, the middle one is going to be Van Dyke brown. So I've got light one, medium one. And then the darkest one, well, it's not really, but it works nice. Lee, nicely. Warm grey, number five, which we use all the time for shading. So if you haven't got that one, then swap it out with a with a HB pencil. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's all I'm doing. That's it. Those three. For the, for the stippling, which is what I'm going to call it. You call it stippling, call it pointillism, call it what you like. But what it's going to do is make your arm ache. <laughs> so we're going to pace ourselves. OK, now a couple of little tricks. Are you happy? Are you happy? And are you OK with this? Come on, I'll give you a chance to get your three pencils sorted. Because otherwise, I mean, that's the thing. I know what I'm doing, don't I? Because I've already been doing it all morning. Three pencils, light, medium, dark. Or one pencil. Don't press very hard at all. Press a little bit harder. Really press hard. <laughs> Same thing. All right. The other thing is, you see, when you're shading with pencils, if you, especially what we're going to do, it's all about dotting. It's stippling. So if you stipple more in one area, it just gets darker and darker. But let's say, for example, just let's stipple in this area here. Let's just get this going, shall we? Right now, tip number one. Think about what you're doing. Sorry, I know I'm being I don't mean to sound patronizing. I'm just going to take my watch off. I don't need any excess weight on this arm. <laughs> right. OK, because in a minute I'm going to start dot, 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 dot. See, this is what you do. I'm going to show you from the front. Dot, 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 dot. Not that. Don't hold it up too high. This is I'm not being cheeky. I, I've, these are just a couple of tricks that make it easier and make it more effective. You're not holding the pencil like that. You're holding the pencil upright. You're not, you're not holding the pencil too high up. You're holding the pencil right down near the tip because you'll find you've got a lot more control if you hold the pencil there. If you hold the pencil up there, you'll end up, you go all, all, all over the place. As soon as you come down the shaft, right, and you hold it further towards the nib, you, you've got total control and you haven't got to do so much and you can really be strategic about where you're putting your dots, right? The other thing is that when you do this, just get a bit of scrap and you'll have a look. If you want it to be darker, so in other words, you're creating a shade with dots, which is the art of pointillism, right? Point, 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 point. Then what you're going to do is you just stay in that area. So what I would suggest is, though, that we get a good coverage first and then we go back and add shade. Yeah, because you're going to want to dot all over the place. Let's get started. OK. Happy with this? Cool. Excellent. Oh, pun. Let's see how many puns we can get going here. This is excellent, don't you think? I've already had the teaching you to suck eggs. I've got, I'll, I'll have that one. Right, you ready? We'll start at the head because we're going to do light for the first third, then we'll do uh, brown for the second third, and then we'll do grey down the bottom. Right, off we go. We'll just do this bit here. And then we'll start up here. Right, ready? And, and rather than just hammering like a pneumatic drill, look at what you're doing. Is your, is your pencil sharp? Avoid the, avoid the, the patterns. There you go. You should be able to hear what you're doing. Avoid the patterns. Hold the pencil down. Hold the pencil down as close as you can to the nib. See? And then off you go. This is the light one. 
So you're just going to fill the area apart from the dots. We're going to have to take breaks on this though. Right, so then you're going down that far. Okay, let's say you've done that area there. Can you see, can you see anything? <laughs> right, don't worry. It's the overall effect that is amazing. It just, this is a building game. It, this takes time. So for example, if I hold this up to the camera, let it focus. See, see the little dots in that area there? There. So let's just get the first area in. This is quite good. This, um, see, because I, I found, if you do this, first of all, you're leaning on your artwork, so you've got to lean on something. You can lean on a bit of paper, anything. Just don't lean all over your cockerel. Then, so I could lean on this, for example, piece of plastic. What I like about the groovy guard is it's got a hole. And what I found was, when you, when you start doing this, the paper keeps lifting. And so you end up, rather than having dots, you're getting dashes. So this is cool. Because you could always take a piece of card and cut a hole in it, can't you? But obviously, for, there's a lot of you parchers that have already got one of these. So what I'm suggesting is you get it out. Right, so we've done those dots. And then let's go to colour number two. Let's just get the theory down right first. So now we've used our raw umber. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to Dick Van Dyke Brown. Right, so now... I'm going to go back up, halfway up. See, I'm overlapping. So now I'm going back in again. Hold your pencil down as low as you can. Dot, 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 dot. If you find they're looking more like dashes than dots, slow down. Look, as soon as I slow down, when I go la, 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 it just looks like I've gone berserk. One of the things that I figured I'm figuring out is um, that I have to slow down. And this is it's one of those ones, this here, this, this exercise, this pointillism exercise, it will make you slow down. Well, it's either that or you'll give it up. Now take the, the third one, the darkest one, and go from the bottom up and cross into the brown. Right, so I'll go in the, I'm going with the dark grey now. This one is warm grey five. Right, slow down grey. Up we go. Mind the little white bits. Are we cool with this? See? What I mean is, by slowing down, uh, I have a tendency to want to get things done. Like, and then chase on to the next thing. But the thing about that is it defeats the object of meditation and calming down. So if this is supposed to be a mindful process, I'm not being productive. It's in the, it's in the dots. It's in the dots. The fact that I create something beautiful at the end of this exercise. You know, if I sit in the garden with my legs crossed, apart from never being able to get up again. Okay, I'm going back up to the top again now. Uh, if I sit in the garden for an hour and practice breathing exercises with my legs crossed, at the end of it, I might be all chilled. And that serves that purpose then, you know. Um, this is the similar thing, except at the end of it, I've got something to show for it. And I, ha I, I am a person, uh, I can't sit, well, I can't sit cross-legged anyway. That is just, I'm on a hide into nowhere. Um, I can't sit cross-legged, well, not on hope to get up again. I'm not very good with yoga and breathing exercises because my mind drifts. However, if I'm introducing dots, this is the maddest thing. I mean, we're all wired differently, aren't we? If I'm introducing dots into a speckled hen like this, one dot at a time, my mind is completely focused on what I'm doing. Can you believe that? I can't think about anything else apart from these dots. Dot, 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 dot. Don't want to get it wrong. Want to get it right. Want to make it lovely. And the only thing I have to add to that is time and patience. And then it serves its purpose. 
So I'm doing the brown in the middle. I'm just doing the middle section now. So I wanted to tell you that, that I feel very strongly about that. And for me, it's a quite a learning curve, this, you know. I, I, it doesn't come naturally to me to... Um, it doesn't come naturally to me to go slowly, do, do anything slowly. I, 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 I'm always rushing to the next thing. So, so this is a really good exercise. Let's just do, let's have a look. Let's see what we're doing with our dotting. Let's have a look first. See if we can get up close again. And then we'll have to have a break. Just let your arms, see? That's not bad at all. Is your dotting coming along all right? Is it looking good? <laughs> it looks like it's got a rare condition. It's not over until it's over, is it? It's not over till the fat cockerel sings. Let's have a look from above. There you go. So we've got some dots going on here. And, and we're going to continue that. I mean, this is the thing, though. Your hand. I did. I did the whole thing. And then when I went to do the shading, my wrist was like that. <laughs> I couldn't feel my fingers. So I had to... You have to pace yourself a bit with this one. I don't know if it's... Maybe if you're arthritic, it, it will have a... It will either improve it or make it worse. But I think, like Dave, he plays his guitar every day and it keeps, it keeps, him, it keeps it moving because he's got terrible arthritis. Um, in fact, quite an auspicious occasion today, let me tell you, on the Clarity Matters blog, you know we've got two blogs, haven't we? We've got barbaragrayblog.com every day. And today I'll do some photographs of this, some close-ups so that you can get in on that. I, I ran out of speed yesterday. I'll do it today. Um, but on the other one, I'm just waffling because I need to relax my hand a bit. Um, on the other one, on, on the Clarity Matters blog, Dave's taken over from Grace today. And he's, he's, he's quite good. He's quite a dab hand in the kitchen. And uh, he, uh, today, he's got a really lovely blog lined up for you. And uh, now what is it he's doing today? It's the, it's, which one is it today? I've drawn a blank. Let me think. Um, I'm not going to tell you. I want it to be a surprise. Clarity Matters blog, right? Clarity Matters blog. Dave's going to be blogging. Grace has prepared it all. He wrote it all. And it's, it comes from the kitchen. But it's very, very good. And next week he's got another one, which is great for arthritis. Um, he's got another recipe which is great for arthritis. So he's just, um, oh yeah, I know which one it is today. Back to the roots, down the bottom. Of, if we go down to the woods today. Yeah, it's that one. Brilliant. Okay, you'll really enjoy it. And it is very good for you. He's on the health kick, right? So check out his recipe. It's really good. And then next week, it's about the arthritis as well. He's on the health kick. He's trying to help his arthritis. And the things that he's doing, he said, I could share this. This might help other people. I said, go for it, Dave. So, so Clarity Matters blog, very good. Wednesday this week, he's doing the, mm -hmm, and next week he's doing something really good. It's all about, it's all about your, your hands. Okay, so I've rested my hands. You too, are you ready to continue? Let's have a sip of water. Sparkling, bubbly, I'm going to get sparkling. In German, this is, my mum always calls this Gänsewein. Goose wine, Gänse wine. Mm -hmm. Not sparkling water, any water. They call it, in German, it's called Gänse. Gänse is in geese. Geese wine. That figures. Right, so back to the cockerel and his hen, his chick. Let's have a look. I looked up as well. I was I was curious. I thought, what is with the wattles? Because I thought, has she got wattles as well then? Because I thought, I've only ever really checked out the, the cockerel, you know, and he's always got those things hanging underneath his beak, hasn't he? Anyway, so I looked up wattles again. These these kind of red things are underneath, yeah. And I thought, I wonder why they use them. I wonder why they've got them. Well, apparently, it's for the, for the hot weather. So I don't know what the game is, whether they just slap each other with them or 
I don't know, or they flick them over, or they, I don't know how it works, but the wattles are supposed to be for when it's hot. So today it's hot, so, so the hens and the cockerels will be really glad they've got wattles. <laughs> right, so let's get back. We've done a bit of resting now. Um, I would say we'll do a little bit more. How are you doing with your dotting? Right, get your eye in again. Get down on your pencil really low. I'm going to just put a bit more grey down the bottom. We won't do the whole thing. We'll just get the get this section done here, okay? And then this afternoon, when you've rested your hand, in between resting, you can go in and you can do your stippling, can't you? Because you can, it's whichever, whichever order you do it in, um, you definitely want a layer of dots before you start shading. Okay, dark, medium, light to the top. Yeah. So what I was saying was about the um, giving it time and relaxing into it and, and accepting that it takes as long as it takes, you know. It's like a lot of things in life at the moment. It just all takes as long as it takes. And for me, this, this exercise, this colouring exercise is a really... It, I have to switch my head from productive to mindful. I'm doing this to calm my mind down and to calm myself down. I can only speak for myself. Perhaps you're just here to learn how to do stippling. But I, I'm, my guess is that you also um, would benefit from... Focusing on artwork, just relaxing into it. Let's just get that, that colour in there. I'm going a bit darker in there because it's a pleat, see, so I want to get, so I'm using the darker colour. So if you want it to be darker, you just dot more, don't you? See, and then you can, like underneath her head. It's going to be, I'm going in with a darker one, but I could also go in with a lighter one and just go lots more, just dot, 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 dot. And if I, if I just go more dots along here, it will automatically get darker. Of course it will. Dot, dot, dot. You can cut across the lines. Just avoid the white things. Speckled hen. She's looking good, actually. I'm liking her. Yeah. And the other thing is, you see, with her, you have to remember she's going to have a background, same as he is. And so when we when we put the the sky and the plants in, she will jump. So any any lightness here, anything light. Look, do you remember with this one when we did the nut hatches, you know, the trees only really came out when the stars came out, when we when we went dark on the background, out came the silver birches. Do you remember? They looked a little bit pallid until we'd done that. So, so it's the same thing. It's not finished until it's finished. Okay? So what we're doing now is we're trying to get this effect. Rest your hands. It's important. It is. I'll tell you what. While we're resting our hands, let me show you. Because we're using the postcards. See, they come from here, from the big colouring book. See, the postcards are lovely for us because it's just like pint size, nice. The big colouring books, many of you have already got these. Um, I want to show you, for example, the, the, see here. So I've started my work on my owl. And the, re the only reason I want to show you the owl here is because... It's the same technique as we're doing today. You see, so when you look at the colouring book or the postcard, we've got the owls in our, um, in our postcards as well. See, it's the same, same design, if you like, here as on the, um, on the hen. But what I did was, with the dotting, I did dots in Vs. 
So I, I went from the, do you see, we'll do this when we get to the L, but I, I literally went from the white bits and I dotted down like that, then up to the next one, then down to that one, then up to the next one. And if you keep doing it, you see how when you step away, suddenly you can see through the pointillism, you can see the feathers. Do you see what I mean? And, and so, so you can create form with dots just by lots of, creating lots of them, just dot, 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 okay? So let me just put that away. I just wanted to show you that because this is like the preliminary. This is the runner-up. This is the, 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 the start. But it's a fantastic way to, to get, you know, beautiful shape. So what we're going to do now, let me show you. If I take, depending on where we are, if I'm in the lighter area here, then I'm going to take my lighter pencil. Let me just show you and then you do it. And it needed to be quite, right, and I'm going to, I'm hardly touching the, I'm hardly touching, I'm just going round and round and round like that. Honestly, I'm barely touching the paper. But you'll see, see, so I go round and round and round. And then I very lightly go up the, the lines that Mel's given us. So that will make the eyes, these, 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 on the speckled hen, it will make them pop out. So if I'm in the light area, I'm using the same pencil. See, I can I can do it lightly. I can do it darker. Let's have a look. See if you can see. Let it just focus. It's very easy. But that's all it is. You see, as you get closer, hang on. Oh, let it focus. See. So you're just going to go very lightly, like a halo, like a halo. So if you're in the light area. You use a light pencil. Let me see if that camera's better. Ah, uh, no, I think the one above is better, isn't it? Everybody happy? I heard loads of yeses then. But that makes me happy. Right. So you do that very gently. You just avoid going in and. Then you're just going to add your shadow. Just do all the ones that are. Uh... And then as you move into the next area, take the darker pencil. Right, so you've done that. Oh, look. Cool. That's what makes it lovely. Right, and then we'll take the next one and we'll do the same thing in that area. And then we'll do the darkest one down the bottom. Very gently. And don't forget, if, if you can always... Rub it out, can't you? If you overcook it and you think, oh, no, no, it looks a little bit pandoresque, um, just rub it out again. Or if you go into the middle, like I've just done, just knock it out again. It's easier to do it now than when you've shaded it all, isn't it? So this morning, I've got to tell you this, because, I mean, we hang out every day and we are kindred spirits, so uh, I might as well level with you. This morning... I, I haven't been sleeping well at all. And I think that the subconscious is a lot more powerful than we give it credit for. At a, at a superficial level, I'm fine. Right? I can fake it to make it. I'm all chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. Uh, <clears throat> but subconsciously, clearly this is affecting me. And, and it manifests itself, doesn't it? Anxiety and, and stress. It, it manifests itself differently in each and every one of us. So some of us get headaches. Some, some people get terrible headaches, migraines. Some people get um, psoriasis, skin outbreaks. Um, you know, there are so many different ways that when, when we're living in a stressful condition, um, th it comes out, doesn't it? And, um, and the way it comes out, and it always has for me, so don't be worrying about me because I've lived with it all my life. I get chest pains. It's always been that way. I, as soon as I get anxious, I get chest pains. And I've lived with them all my life. And, and I know exactly when it kicks in, I know what to do. For example, I drink water. I don't drink tea. So you will have noticed already this week, forget the tea, I'm on the water, right? 
and you know I can make light of it but the truth of the matter is I'm drinking water because the tea makes me nervous as well and and the more tea I drink the worse it gets so the chest pains are really that's what happens it just gets really I think it must be the the caffeine or the taine or whatever it's called so right okay so back to this you want it so I'm see the the lovely shadow around the outside you just it gives it really lovely form. Look, you don't want it too too severe. It wants to be graduated. So that is all about pressure, isn't it? It's all about pressure. So around the outside, do you remember we were doing it? Yes, see the little circular motions? That will give it really, really delicate colour. Look, just around the outside. It's almost like you look like that. And have you noticed I'm doing it all on one side at the moment? See, and then as I go round, gently, gently over the dots, you don't lose the dots, the dotty, the, the pointillism. You don't lose that. It just creates texture, really brilliant texture for a speckled hen. So you want to kind of blend out gently, 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 gently. Yeah, so this morning, woke up. Takes about three seconds to figure out what the game is, and then bang, chest pains, in they come. Then I lie there trying to sort them out, but they don't, it's it's hopeless. So that's why I get up and I think, right, that's it, game's over, sleep, no sleep. And so then I came up here and I started doing my prep for us guys, right? And this is the interesting thing. Within half an hour of doing this speckled hen, this, little girly here, right? I hadn't even got to the pleats and the, the depth and it occurred to me that my chest pains were gone, you know? So it works, it really does. And I, and I am, today, I am definitely living proof of the fact that, that this doodling and sticking with the hands and getting out of your head and focusing on something even, I don't know, anything really, the gardening, the cooking, music, it's got anything, a good book, audible, that does it. But since you and I, we're crafters in the main, aren't we? I wanted to just sort of, I don't, I don't need, don't worry about me. I, it's not about sympathy here. Honesty, really, really not. There are people who are a lot worse off than me. If I can, I know how to handle it. I've got a solution. See, I'm living in the solution here. I'm sitting here with a bunch of mates and I'm, I'm colouring in this speckled hen and I'm loving the result. That's the thing about me. I need to have a result. This just the way I am. So that's why I probably run a company. Because I can't do anything just for the sake of it. I have to, I have to produce something. Does that make sense? I have to make a card. I have to do something. I, I have to see something at the end of it. But can you see how now, how now, brown cow, can you see how by just gently, see, and I'm changing the colours, so I'm swapping. I'm staying with the light in the top third, and then I'm going to the browns in the second third, and then the darker, I'm using the grey, right? So down here, for example, again, and you'll notice I'm staying on one side all the time. Um, and I can get quite dramatic. If I get tight in on the line, yeah, nice, nice. And then, you see, so, so I've kind of, you know when you get sharp in on the edge, don't you? And then, there you go. So we're learning a technique. I don't know. I, I didn't I figured it out by myself. If there's a book on this, happy days, but I haven't found it yet. I just worked out. You just stare at a bird long enough and you see the, the dots, the speckles, the flecks, and then you figure out how to create them. And I'm guessing that, you know, I, it works. It works. And all I've got is three pencils and a postcard. 
Boom. Yeah. Wednesday's pottery day. Oh, never mind. See, that was another thing. Because you had to focus, especially on the wheel. Blimey. <laughs> yeah, when I'm on the wheel, you really got to have your wits about you, see? <coughs> Doesn't that look good? So you can see how you build it up, can't you? Yeah? Two other things I wanted to do today, because I, I, I also, I am aware, because I've powered through the whole hen, and then I was like, they look like a wattle, not a hand. <laughs> Can't stand people that laugh their own yolks. Ah! Anyway, so I'm trying to pace you so that you don't go do the lot. Spread it out over the day, you know? Make a little little place, a little happy place with your cockled, with your speckled hen, your cockled hen, with your speckled hen, and with your three pencils, and then just go back and do a little bit more. Stop, stretch, ah, oh, you know? It's like a... It's layers, isn't it? It's like the parchment thing. You just keep going back, doing a bit more. All right? Um, but what I would like to do is have a look at her wattle. Her, her wattle and her beak, and it's the eyes I wanted to check. Because, as I recall, we haven't done the eyes yet, have we? No. So the eyes are quite important because they are, if you look at the difference between have done eyes, haven't done eyes. No eyes, a bit spooky. Eyes in, character, personality, check it out. So what I did was, on the eye, first of all, pencil, very, very lightly. We're not using a pen around the eyes. She's a piece of cake because she's just looking over her shoulder at him going, hello. <laughs> Who's this? What are we going to call her anyway? Dotty. I think her name's Dotty. What about him? Come on. On on clarity, because let's give them a personality, because now we're giving them eyes, we're definitely giving them characters. Let's call her, I would like to call her Dotty, because she definitely is Dotty. And he, the jury's out on him, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Albert. I was going to say something to do with cockerel, but I mm, don't know. Have a think. Have a look at the eye, though. She's looking over at him. So what we want to do is just gently just put a little bit of, just do that, right? So you're happy. I know this is a little bit pedantic, but I tell you what, if you've got chest pains, you won't have them when you finish concentrating on the eyes. Let's have a look here. See the little tiny, just a little tiny circle in there. We've got to leave some whiteness, you see. So if I was to just, just up there, see I can always add it, but I can't, I can always add blackness. Let's have a look, if I do that, there you go. So now I'm gonna come right into the black air there, and I'm gonna go up like that. I'm gonna leave it as a pencil. See now, she is really looking over her shoulder at him like, oi, oi, what's going on here then? Don't sneak up on me like that with your plume feathers, matey, she says. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> right. <sighs> so where was I? Her eye, his eye, he's just worn out. <laughs> he's got absolutely no lust at all. So we're gonna give him, we're gonna give him an extra, what I did was, let me lean on the plastic, I'm getting all sweaty here. Um, I gave him an extra, I gave him an eyelid because I thought that would make him look a little bit gentler, see? I gave him an extra eyelid. And then I thought, right, easy does it. I'm going to make his eye. Let's just put it in gently and then look. Because if you don't like it, you can rub it out. Yeah, he looks pretty worn out, doesn't he? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what is going on here. But I'll tell you what isn't. I haven't got chest pain. There you go. He looks absolutely cream cracker, this poor fella. <laughs> it's all he can do to keep up with her. <laughs> oh, sorry. Cool. It's difficult to do this when you're laughing. 
Right, so he's a gentle, he's a kind cockerel, okay? Because we've given him an extra, given him an eyelid. I found that, that made him very kind, okay? Doesn't look quite so spiteful now. Keen, let's not call him spiteful, let's call him keen. He was a little bit keen before. Now he's definitely a bit more laid back. <laughs> he's just been given a tranquilizer. <laughs> right, so, eyes are in. Oh, that cracked me up. Boom, in the back of the net. <laughs> right, you ready? Next thing, let's do her comb and her beak. Can we do that? I, and then you can paste yourself on her speckles. Right, I want to do her beak. It's quite good. And you want to use a, a neutral colour. I've got a yellow going on here as well. This one's called cadmium yellow, just for the top bit. And then I'm using the warm grey too, and I'm going to stick with the warm grey five, just to get the shade. Let's do her beak, because he didn't have much of a beak, he just had a bit of a yellow, yeah, thing. Let's do her beak. So you have to isolate it from the background. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that so that I'm not leaning all over your man. And I'm focusing on Dotty. Have we decided on a name for him yet? Right, here we go. So under, under layer with the warm grey, with the lightest colour, just on the bottom, like that. Right, so we're isolating that bit and possibly a little tiny bit on the top as well. Just takes out the whiteness, doesn't it? That'll do. Piece of cake. Then take the dark one. You see that all right. Right, now take the darker colour and gently, gently circular. What we're doing now is Gently, gently, we're going to bring in a shadow. Can you hear my tummy rumbling? That's all that sparkling water. <laughs> there you go, see? So you see that when you do that, and then we're going to come along here, I'm, I'm assuming that the, the upper beak is hanging over a little bit under, on the under beak. She hasn't got a protruding lower mandible. You know what I mean? It's This one's hanging over the top of this one. So we'd give this a little bit more shadow, like so. It's amazing what you can do, isn't it, F to get dimension. Right, so that's that, that part of the beak. That'll do. If you overcook it, you know you can always take it out. And then the top half, again, we're going to put a little bit in there, like so, like that. Because obviously her eye, and she looks a lot better now she's got an eye in. Right, and then a little flash of yellow, I think. I don't know whether they have yellow in their beak, but this one does. Right, and then we'll just add a little bit of greyness there, just to tone it down a little bit. She's not as flashy as matey. Dottie's not. She's got four kids, she's had just about enough. And they're all at home. She's got homeschool them, feed them, make the beds. She's losing the will to live. Right, I'll just take out a bit of that grey. And she's saying to him, and now you're here. <laughs> Put the kettle on. Okay, so we've done that bit. Cool with that? What's the time? 10-2. How time flies when you're having fun, eh? <laughs> I'm going to go back to my, should we do the eye bit? Let's do this part as well. Because it's quite nice. And it's really easy. You know how to do the comb and the wattles because we did that yesterday. I just used a different red. I used on her rather than that um, geranium one that we that, that we used for him, the really bright one. I used Pompeian red, but I mean reds are red. You know, any red will do. Any red will doodle. Okay. I'm just showing off really because I've got polychromos. Right, here we go. So I'm going to use the warm grey again just to add a little bit of an undercoat. I just think it, it helps. It makes it easier, I think. Right, a little bit of an undercoat with the warm grey. Hardly touching the paper again. And then I'm going to get my red in, my Pompeian red. It's a bit, it's quite, it is a pinky red, but it's also, it can be really dark, look. So you want to go really lightly. So hardly pressing, can always add colour, can't we? So we're going to add a little bit of colour. So get a bit of card. 
It's always a good idea to have a piece of something that's the same as what you're actually working on. So it would be no good if I was working on a watercolour paper but I had a bit of copy paper to test on. It'd be rubbish. So I'm using the same kind of card. It's a stencil card. Just get a scrap of stencil card because that's what this is. Same as our stencil card is what we printed on. And then what you can do is, you see, you can just test how hard you've got to press to get the result you want. But you understand that it makes sense to be pressing on <clears throat> or testing on the same surface as you're working on, otherwise you won't, it's going to be different, isn't it? I know, I'm teaching you to suck eggs again. Ah, I love that one. <laughs> right, so you see, you just get a little bit of that lovely redness in there. Just gently does it. Work in layers. See? Just circular motions. And you just get that eye in there. Now we've put her um, pupil in. It looks a lot more interesting, doesn't it? There you go. That's nice. And then, of course, up we go. We're going to use the same one in the comb. And in the wattle. So, but you can do that afterwards, can't you? Do you remember the wattle and the comb? Just take your pencil in first and decide where the fold is. Just gently, where is it going to be a little bit darker? Or just introduce a tiny little flash of grey like that. And that will keep you, that will tell you exactly, look, just that will tell you exactly where you want it to be darker. Just that little flash like that. And then you can take your red pencil and you can go in like that with your red Pompeii and red. So this doesn't take long, look. It's going to be that side. See, because the light's coming from here, isn't it? So a little bit of red on that side. A little bit of red on that side. Look how easy it is once you get your colour in. And you can create that optical illusion. And yeah, no chest pains. No chest pains here now, anyway. And if I have to keep doodling and colouring in my speckled hen to get rid of the chest pains, that suits me much, much better than and drinking water and not tea and certainly not coffee and all that that if, if that's all i have to do to uh, get rid of them why wouldn't i why would i take medication or why would i i don't need it i don't i know what i need to do i need to just distract my my thinking i need to get away just steer my head away from what is ever, what is making me anxious see that's all i've got to do and if that, that's easy, isn't it? There you go, a little bit of yellow. And so that's really, today, that's it, I think. Because all the things that I've shown you now, that I'm just, I'm doodling now. This is maintenance now. She'll be lovely when she's done. So you add a little bit more depth in there, a bit of grey, a bit of red, a bit of yellow. She's not as bold as him. Well, they aren't, are they? But I can add more colour. You know now how to do the speckles. I've got my colours. I've got my comb. It's going to be lovely when it's done. Really, really happy with this. Really happy with this. So tomorrow, whoa, yeah. Talk about focus, eh? But it's good. It's exactly what, what we need. I think this should be, you should have this on the NHS. Not me, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this whole mindful process. It's a lot, it's a really healthy option. Don't you agree? You know, it's a much healthier option than some of the others that are available to us. And so tomorrow, what I'd like to do is look at the background. So if you have time today, then develop that, that, that hen, get, get old Dottie going, decide what we're going to call Matey, the big boy, um, and tomorrow we'll look at the background. We'll, we've got Thursday and Friday, so tomorrow I'd like to look at the leaves and the flowers and see what we can do with them, and then on Friday we'll go right to the back. That's what I'd like to do, slowly, slowly. I, I, I'm trying to, to pace us 
yeah, so that we're not using this as some kind of mad masterclass, because it isn't that. It isn't that for me. You know, I'm, I'm, it's not a performance. It's, it's just a bunch of mates trying to clear our heads, okay? And, um, and I think the longer this, this pandemic is going on out there and the more confusion, because now there is this element of, well, what now? Right. I think we have to we have to safeguard at least one hour. If call it therapy, call it doodle art, call it whatever you want. But for me, this is crucial. I'm I I am I'm here to keep you company, but I also I, I need this for myself too. And if I need it, then I'm sure that you need it too. And that's 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 enough on that subject. I think you get me. You get me a lot. So at six o'clock tonight, let me see, at six o'clock this evening on Hochanda, which is the TV channel that we work with, for all you good people in the States that aren't familiar with it, um, we're launching some beautiful, um, beautiful new stamps and um, gruda plates. We've got some existing ones. These are our poetry, the poetry collection. And they're, they're, we've just kind of compi compiled a, a gorgeous selection of verses um, beautiful poem. I'm a bit of a wordsmith. I like I like poetry. I was always a, a book a bookworm, and so I've compiled a really gorgeous set from Maya Angelou and Wordsworth and Keats. They're just gorgeous things, and uh, and I'll just show you an example of one of the just a couple of the pieces of artwork that you're going to be looking at. For example, there's a fabulous Serenity Prayer, and then we've got here. Oh, I can't see without my glasses on. This is lovely. This is a groovy plate. This is an Irish blessing. Very lovely. Sunbeam to warm you, a moonbeam to charm you. And then this is one of the new ones. Check it out. It is so beautiful and small. So this is a butterfly frame. It's a stamp. And again, you'll get this. This is our colouring. This is the way we, you know how I've done the colouring, don't you? You've got, you're, you're in the team. You're on the team. You know how this works. But it's the tiny little stamps. I just love them. There's there's one that's even smaller. Let me. I've got to show you this because it it baffles me how you can get something this small to be so so crisp. So this one here, which speaks volumes. Let me just ink it up so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to plant that there. Look at that. That's madness. How tiny is that? Today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. And it is so small, if I put the pencil next to it, you'll understand. Isn't that amazing? Hats off to Jason. Jason is our stamp maker. And he's just, it's phenomenal really, to be able to create such a robust little stamp. That tiny. Yeah, I'm surrounded by clever people. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of our doodle session today. Six o'clock tonight, Hochanda, we're launching these beautiful little messages and verses. Glorious stamps and lovely frames by our good friend Mel Turner. So there you go. That's the end of the session for today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I have. It's done me the power of good. Thank you for your company. And thank you, Steve, for helping us. And do please follow, like and share so that other people um, can join in. If they fancy it, it'll do them the power of good too. And, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, I hope, at 10 o'clock, same place, same time. Shack, shack. Bye-bye now.